The entrance antiphon, the Lord established for him a covenant of peace and made him the prince, that he might have the dignity of the priesthood forever. Good morning. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and in body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philomena. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because, because the hearts of the holy ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child, Onesimus, whose father I have been in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that the good you do might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have, no, might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, and as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me, and if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand, I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self. Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, 
You are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. And then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, and do not run in pursuit. For just as a lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. At first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Gospel for uh, this uh, Thursday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time concern uh, all of us uh, because uh, all of us have uh, a little bit uh, of these uh, collective characters of the Pharisees who go and ask Jesus the question, when does uh, the kingdom of God come? Without realizing that actually the kingdom of God was in front of them. In some way, the Pharisees are shortcoming, or their eyes, to use this metaphor, they are eyes suffering of myopia, not being able to see clearly, to see in death. The Latin fathers uh, used to say, not able to intuslegere, that means uh, to read into the reality around us. And in that sense, uh, we are all a little bit in the same place uh, where the Pharisees were. Even more so because of the fact that very often the presence of God in our lives is not uh, grounded or does not manifest itself in extraordinary events, but rather in our average and day-to-day -day life. And uh, it is very often a very gentle and delicate presence that requires to have uh, eyes, ears, and hearts open and attentive to decipher, to acknowledge, and to discern where the presence of God is. But uh, one thing that we can be sure of, God present is here and now as much as it was uh, there and then for the Pharisee. And so the question for us uh, is how attentive we are in our day-to-day -day life to the divine presence that constantly accompany us. And if uh, we may wonder what's uh, the big deal in uh, acknowledging and recognizing God's presence in our life, then we find the answer in the refrain of the Alleluia, where the Lord says, I am the vine, you are the branches, Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. So the consequences of being able to depict God's presence are enormous and huge because uh, when we pair the gospel with the refrain of the Alleluia, the answer that we get is that we are, so to speak, almost bound to find God's presence in our life 
in order to be able to bear much fruit because we are going then to be able to be and remain in him. So to put things in order, the dynamic that the Word of God offers us today is a, a knowledge, recognize, be aware of God's presence that is going to root us in Jesus the Christ that will allow us to bear much fruit. And uh, in one sentence, it allows us to be contemplative in action, contemplative to find God's presence and in action to bear much fruit. So let us ask uh, in this liturgy that the Lord may provide us with eyes, ears, and hearts to recognize his presence, to hear his voice, and to bear much fruit. Amen. And now let us address our prayers and petition to our Father in heaven. For the increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern our communities and country, may the example of Christ inspire them to care for the poor and the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us as we carry our daily burdens, May the Holy Spirit reveal to us that we are never alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the kingdom of God be made real through our acts of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the light of faith, may they now rest in the eternal light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today's... Mass intentions are for George and Ann Botello, Mr. and Mrs. Antonia Rujo, and family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we ask you to welcome and listen and these prayers of ours. And look also and receive those we be in our hearts. We offer all of them in the name of your Son and our Lord, Jesus the Christ. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vines and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
And Lord, with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, the celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, and we may honor it with love and devotion through the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and say humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through the Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Egdar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom of God, and the glory of yours, now and 
and Lord Jesus Christ to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you all. And let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The communion antiphon. Peter said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, 
We give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God bless you who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go and remain in the peace of the Lord. And have a nice day. Today we will recite the luminous mysteries in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The three Hail Marys, we pray for faith, hope, and charity, and for the health, safety, and intentions of our beloved Holy Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus, and the fruit of this mystery is openness to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, <clears throat> now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. And a fruit of this mystery is to Jesus through Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. And the fruit of this mystery is repentance and trust in God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration, and the fruit of this mystery is desire for holiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
<coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, Lord of God, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist, and the fruit of this mystery is adoration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain, obtain to what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All churches should be saying the St. Michael prayer, especially after this vote. You're welcome. There's not that many people here, I think, because the Mass tonight. Yes. Yeah, the healing Mass tonight. 